everyone, and here's our devotional for Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Reason Not to Fear 154. God will bless those who fear him. They shall fear you as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. Psalm 72.5 When my husband attended Moody Bible Institute, his favorite course was the Psalms. The other day, in one of his study books, I found his notes on this particular psalm. These notes, written in his handwriting, brought tears to my eyes, and for just a few moments I found myself drifting back into a time when our lives were so full of activities and fun. As I write this page, I am looking at my husband's notes and perhaps will write a few of his thoughts along with mine. Most believe this may be the last psalm David wrote, and that he wrote it for his son Solomon, who was a handsome man, one in whom he could take pride. Read the whole psalm. It is beautiful, full of praise to God. The language lifts you above the ordinary occurrences of the, of the day. Perhaps it was sung at the occasion of Solomon's coronation. Picture David, who is aged, and his young son Solomon standing there with joy and fervent faith in his eyes as the ceremony takes place. What, what would you say to your child if he were to take on such an awesome responsibility? David's desire for Solomon was that he would fear the Lord Almighty as long as the sun and moon endured. Wow, is that ever needed today? People need to not only need to love the Lord, they need to fear him. They do not need more theological discussions about him or arguments about the finer points of doctrine. They need to experience him and reverence him. Why? Because the fear of the Lord, a healthy respect, honor, and worship of God will keep you from evil will make your feet stay on the right path, and will guard you against presumptuous sins. We are destined to be conformed to His image, and that process can only take place when you honor and worship the Lord out of your great fear for Him. He will bless you if you fear Him. Stand in awe of Him, and do that as long as the sun and moon endure. Wow. You know, the question that pops into my mind as I read that is, you know, what would I tell? I mean, I have um, stepkids. I don't have any biological kids, but what would I tell the, the, the stepkids and the, the nieces and nephews? Um, I would tell them, I would tell them this, and Lord, please give me the right words. Um, I would tell them, ask Jesus to reveal Himself to you and show Him His your His ah, show you His love, and I would tell them. To hold on to him every day, day in, day out, when things are going great, when things are going horrible, when things are going okay, hold on to Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. All right, I'm going to tell it. Most of you already know this story, so just like fast forward or turn it off or whatever, but yeah. So anyway, one day, Dad and I were riding on the motorcycle, and, ooh, ooh that wasn't good. Hold on. No, 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 don't do this. Okay. Okay, is it going to be mean to me? I don't think so. Anyway, um, so yeah, Dad and I were riding on the motorcycle. And, you know, I'm holding on to the sides of the bike because, you know, he, he'll take off. You know, and so so finally the terrain gets smooth and easy and everything. And I'm just kind of kind of relaxing my grip on the sides. And then, the, you know, and he'll take off. And I'm like, ah! And I'm like holding on to the sides real tight, you know, not to fall off. But it reminded me that, you know, on a daily basis as Christians, we need to keep that same hold on Jesus that we have in the bad times. You know, when things, like I said, when things are going awesome, we need to keep that strong grip on him and not just let, oh, you know, I don't need him today. Everything's going great. No, we need him every minute. I know that I need him every minute. So um, I hope that makes sense. And um, let's keep our eyes on him today. Um, let's sing that song together real quick. As the traffic whizzes by, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Praise God, and the things of earth will go strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Isn't that awesome? There's another song that says, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you. 
Praise God. Isn't that awesome? We forget that sometimes, don't we? I know I do. I get to worrying and like forgetting where my hope is, you know? And let's not do that. Let's keep our focus on him no matter what. And I went way off the trail with this, but yeah. Sorry. May the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.